What's going on guys? So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know Baby Squat has got some rock lights on it already. A little Amazon special, single light per wheel well. Um, they're actually pretty dang good. So I was pretty happy with them and they've been great. I've had them probably going on a year now and they've given me no issues whatsoever. They're a manual switch, which I've got routed into the glove box so I can do it on the inside. And they've honestly been great. Oxbeam reached out to me after they sent me some headlights and they're like, yo, if you want to do this, we'd be happy to send you some out. So they sent me out some Bluetooth um, rock lights and they are two per wheel well or wherever you want to put them. It's an eight piece set, so you can string them up anywhere. Either way, we're going to have a video with Baby Squat. So I know y'all been missing her. A lot of Duramax content stuff. So finally, we're doing a little bit of something with the old Baby Squat. So for starters, let's go ahead and get a cold start. All right, I ain't playing. If you got headphones, you better yank them suckers out. We have also got like a full weekend of storms coming, so I gotta get Baby Squat in the garage, and that means the old Dirty Max has gotta go on. Get. Not super tight, but we're good. Okay, so hopefully y'all can hear me over them both idling, but you might be asking yourself, if you've already got lights on Baby Squat, why don't you put them on the Duramax? And the pretty simple answer is, if we look over here, felt liner. It's easy to put these in, not have to go into the body, whereas on here, it's metal. Back here, felt liner, easy to install, right up there. This thing's filthy, I'm sorry. Uh, all this is metal so you would have to be drilling into the actual like body of this truck in order to put wheel lights in there and honestly i don't want to do that i want to get some um wheel uh, excuse me i've been saying wheel lights this one's up rock lights rock lights are the ones you install in there wheel lights are what the one i want to get on the duramax so that is the reasoning behind that so we got old baby squat in the basement so let's check out the lights we got LED rock lights high power they are bluetooth which is the big difference between what i have currently and then in here as well as this is a eight piece set so if you want you can put two in each fender well which should brighten it up quite a bit um, the one i have on there is just white because honestly i just did want to use white but since they're sending me this out i figured it would be better um, it'd be cool to have this as well as the bluetooth connectivity so you can just pull it up on your phone so here is our kit laid out and everything looks really high quality honestly these rock lights they feel really good um the mounts that come with them rubberized so i'm sure this is to help absorb impact because in reality these all came from you know rock crawling and stuff needing to see obviously now they've been implemented into street trucks that just you know it looks cool so but it is nice to have these thick rubberized cushions to help absorb shock vibration stuff like that just to help the lights last longer here we have the bluetooth controller which obviously you got to figure out where you can mount this big box at and then just this so you'll need you some wires connectors everything to hook this up to a positive and negative however you want to do that whether you want to go through the fuse box or directly to the battery um, we're most likely just going to go straight to the battery like my other one is set up and then we've got here our eight connectors um, i'm going to have to see how long these are because honestly it's really going to depend where i can mount this depending on how long these are because they're not super duper long um, so just something to think about that's going to be like a pretty long stretch from here all the way to that back passenger fender. So we're definitely gonna have to do some measuring. We might have to mount that box somewhere back on the frame somewhere. So first things first, go ahead, pop your hood, undo your batteries. That way we got no power going anywhere. You don't wanna accidentally touch something while you're under here doing something. Um, and then we're gonna take the fender liners out because uh, we gotta get in behind them and as well mount to them. So it's gonna use, I don't know what size this is, but it's a, it's a little bitty guy, but they just go right there and then you can, loosen it out of there and there's there's quite a few of them in here but once you get them out this is kind of a hard uh almost like cardboard but you know whatever anyways you don't really want to be too rough with them because you can crease them you can crack them be careful with them they will come out of the fender liner they're behind like this stuff right here just be careful take your time get these laid down and then you can really begin the process of laying things out and seeing exactly how you want to run everything and where you want to mount it all right so this is going to be frustrating all of these all these hold this freaking fender liner in and so as you can see this thing's dirty y'all know we've been through a little bit of mud and whatnot i'm gonna definitely clean this up outside as well as clean up in here because it's got some 
some grime and stuff and it's just a good idea to do that because all this can eventually cause corrosion so why not clean it while we got it off so then once we get this cleaned up we'll kind of start lining up everything see exactly where we want to put stuff I have decided to keep the one per wheel well and we're going to do two on the frame so we're just going to have it like this and we're going to drill us two holes for the screws to come through i am not going to be reusing are using these so if you just have the metal wheel wells um, these are definitely going to be a good thing to use however on my application which you can do completely different if you want it just makes sense to not use this because then this is going to make it hang down low and i don't want them to be visible let's go ahead and throw one of these in there so it doesn't have that sliding problem one reason why i do like coming up through this little guy is because there is already a hole right here for the alignment that goes up into the engine bay. So you can just run your cable straight through there and makes it very convenient. Wow, that went in my shirt. <laughs> just gonna clip these babies off, they're nice and tight. Just gonna clip them off right there. Very nice and secure. So in all reality, this fender well could go back in but we're gonna do the back ones before so that we've still got plenty of access to clean up our wires and stuff along the truck. All right, so now that we got this one, you're basically gonna do this exact thing on all four. I'm not gonna show you all four because I just showed you this one and it's no different. Except for the back, looks a little bit different, but it's the same, same idea. Um, just right there where that little guy is and um, screw it down, chop the ends off or use different hardware if you want, whatever you wanna do. So let's uh, do that and I will catch up with y'all as soon as I get them all installed and the fender liners back in the truck. All right guys, we'll just finish up doing the Oxbeam Rock Light install and we went with the one per wheel well and then two going down the frame here and here. I'll obviously show y'all how I got them installed and how everything looks in a little bit, but I did want to just give a brief overview. I did have one issue with the lights, uh, one of the rock lights, but I reached out to Oxman and they did send me another, so all is good, good customer service. So no real complaints with that. So the install is pretty straightforward. All you really need as far as wiring is a ground hooked up down by the controller, and then a power, obviously. I've just got it running up here to the battery, and then a fuse in line, just precautionary but just a single wire running back and then we'll come under here. Right, so the one issue is the wiring is not super long. So uh, I think maybe more designed for a Jeep or a smaller truck. So if you have a long bed or, you know, something pretty long, you might have difficulty. But right here is where I mounted the Bluetooth controller, which this is on my cross member. There's the uh, transfer case. So drive shaft right here on this little ledge. And it worked pretty good. Everything was able to reach here, but this is the, you know, you pretty much have to get middle ground in order to make this work. But everything did work out good. I ran the ones through this cross member over here, up through the hole, and then out to the ones over here. And as you can see, I've got these mounted up here on that. So pretty easy on there. Um, not the easiest install just because there's not a ton of room. This thing's supposed to be super waterproof and everything, so I shouldn't have any issues out of it. We'll definitely see, but it comes with these good connectors and you obviously tighten them down real good so no moisture or anything should get in there. So rather than drilling them, I just took a zip tie and you can tighten it down really tight on this, going over the top, down to here, and that holds it in. It does shine a little bit on the frame, obviously because it's at an angle right there, but I didn't want to drill into my truck and this prevents you from having to do that. And as you can see, it still shines really good on the ground. Uh, there's just this little dead spot right here where obviously, you know, it's not gonna see the center because the frame is here. But overall, really easy. You just have to zip tie all your wires up. Like obviously this one has got a ton of extra wire because it is so close to the box. Whereas like the front one is completely stretched out. But you know, just zip tie them on all these little things, get them up out of the way. Don't attach them to anything that moves or gets too hot and you're pretty much set. I mean, fairly easy. I'll show y'all where, let me see where I put my ground. So here's where I put my ground, you know, just clean you off a little spot, drill a little hole right there, your ground's good to go. 
and then you just have to run your one power wire up there with everything else. Perfect. Hopefully you can see pretty good. I know GoPros don't usually have very good low light, but I gotta use my GoPro so I can show you all the app. So a bunch of different stuff you can go through here and you know choose to do. You can go back to the adjust, go all over. Unfortunately, I don't see any way to do just white. I don't know if the RGBs can actually do just white, but yep. It has kind of a weak reception, so obviously you're usually in your truck or whatever, I guess maybe you would be outside it, but sometimes it does lose connection. And so, yeah, but looks pretty good. We'll just go ahead and toss it up here on... Yeah, I mean, you got strobes and stuff. It's pretty trippy you can adjust how fast everything goes so pretty cool a lot of different things you can play with that's the white strobe right there let's see green strobe pretty crazy let's see but and you can do it to like music and stuff but you know, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, you do this, you're going to go to jail. Same with the blue. They are pretty bright. That's a single wheel well light. And we got two running down under here. They light up the ground really good. So, that's pretty much all we got to talk about right there. If you have any questions about the install or anything, if I didn't make anything clear enough, drop a comment down below. Try to comment, try to answer all the comments. All right guys, well hopefully you can hear me over these bugs and you probably already saw it in the dark. So this is the past me or future, no past me. Yeah, this is the past me talking about it. So let me know what you think. Hopefully I got a cool little something or another with it driving around or something like that. But um, overall the kit is pretty good. Like I said, if you have a longer vehicle, I would, I would go a different route or maybe see if they have a longer kit option. Um, the lights, they definitely have a lot of different options on colors. Um, I personally, and this is just me, I do like the white look because in most cases you can run that on the street and the cops not mess with you. Whereas if you do run these colors on the street, you're probably going to get pulled over. You might can get away with green. Not really sure. Um, I feel like that'd probably be one of the only safe colors to try would be green. Obviously your reds, your blues, probably even purple. Those are going to get you in trouble and definitely get you pulled over. And then, you know, if they get mad about that, then they might hit you with a tent ticket and they might hit you with an exhaust ticket. And, it, you know, it just depends on if they get triggered by it. They could, it could get you into a lot of different tickets. So, good Lord, these things are screaming. But I do want to say thanks to Oxbeam for sending them out. So any of the discount codes and links to all this will be in the description. If you want to get some RGB Bluetooth rock lights, and you know, do them like me if you want, or you can put them in both the wheel wells. If you had two of them in the wheel wheels, I feel like it'd be extremely bright, um, and and all your colors would really flow together very good. Um, I wanted to try the whole underglow kind of look thing. I know 
some people are going to be like, oh, that's corny or whatever, you know, need for speed wannabe, something like that. But um, I thought it would be a good thing to try out, and I'm glad I went with this route. Um, this one really likes green for some reason. I don't know why, but that one really likes doing green. Um, but, um, yeah, so overall, the kit's good. I think it's fairly cheap. Um, hopefully, with my discount code, get it even cheaper. But, uh, yeah, the install... If you have any questions on it, I hopefully kind of elaborated best as possible. Um, obviously, you can do little things a little bit differently. Do them your own way. It's not anything difficult or you're going to mess up unless you go zip tie it to your exhaust or your drive shaft or something like that. So don't do that, but just use a little common sense. Pretty straightforward install. So with all that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. I will catch you all in the next one.